Have you ever pondered about the power of sports in transforming lives, particularly those of our veterans? It was this very idea that sparked the birth of the Invictus Games. In 2014, Prince Harry, inspired by the Warrior Games in the United States, envisioned a global platform where wounded servicemen and women could compete, not just for medals, but for their recovery and rehabilitation. And thus, the Invictus Games were born, a beacon of hope that shone brightly in the shadow of despair. The games have since grown, creating a ripple effect of awareness and appreciation for the struggles our veterans face. It's led to improved care, increased support, and a renewed understanding of the sacrifices made by these brave men and women. The Invictus Games is more than just a sporting event. It is a beacon of hope and resilience. It's a testament to the unconquerable spirit of our veterans, a spirit that refuses to be defeated by adversity. From its inception, the Invictus Games has grown into a global phenomenon. The journey began in London in 2014, a seed of an idea sown by Prince Harry, blossoming into an event that has transformed lives and challenged perceptions. The Invictus Games was born out of a desire to harness the power of sport to inspire recovery, support rehabilitation, and generate a wider understanding and respect for those who serve their country. The Games have traveled from the heart of London to the sunny shores of Sydney, from the bustling streets of Toronto to the historical city of The Hague. Along this journey, the Invictus spirit has ignited a beacon of hope for wounded servicemen and women around the world, shining a spotlight on their courage and resilience. The positive impact of the Invictus Games on veterans and public awareness is undeniable. The Games have broken barriers, fostering a deep sense of community and understanding. They have shown us the strength of the human spirit, the ability to overcome adversity, and the transformative power of sport. The upcoming 10th anniversary of the Invictus Games will be marked with a service at the iconic St. Paul's Cathedral in London in May. This momentous occasion not only celebrates the achievements of the Games, but also stirs conversations about its future. And now, as we approach a decade of the Invictus Games, discussions for the future location of the 2027 Games are heating up. How does the potential return of the Invictus Games to the UK reflect on Prince Harry's lasting impact on veterans' care and public awareness? A question that's captivating the minds of many as we approach the 10th anniversary of the Invictus Games. The UK's bid to host the 2027 Invictus Games, led by Veterans Affairs Minister Johnny Mercer, is making waves. Mercer is proposing a transformative four-year program aimed at enhancing opportunities for veterans and civilians alike. The emphasis is on the power of sport in recovery and rehabilitation, a belief deeply ingrained in the Invictus Games ethos. But the possible return of the Games to British soil also brings to the fore a delicate dynamic. It shines a spotlight on Prince Harry's strained relations with the rest of the royal family against a backdrop of public and governmental appreciation for his contributions through the Invictus Games. Could the UK hosting the Games offer a platform for reconciliation or at least a public display of unity for a common cause? Moreover, what could this mean for the public perception of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's relationship with the rest of the Windsor family? The potential implications stretch far beyond the athletic arena, touching on the intricacies of royal family dynamics and the public's perception of the Sussexes. As the decision looms, one can't help but wonder about the impact on the narrative surrounding the Duke and Duchess of Sussex and their engagement with both British public life and global humanitarian efforts. What does the future hold for the Invictus Games? 
as we look ahead, anticipation builds for the announcement of the 2027 game's location. The decision is not just about a city, it's about the potential implications for Prince Harry, Meghan Markle, and the broader royal family. But let's not lose sight of what's truly at stake here. The Invictus Games are more than a sporting event. They symbolize the transformative power of sports in recovery and rehabilitation, shining a light on the resilience of our veterans. Prince Harry's initiative has not only changed lives, but also shifted public awareness. It's a testament to his lasting impact on veterans' care. Whatever the future holds, be it in Birmingham or Washington, the Invictus Games will continue to inspire, heal, and unite. As the Invictus Games approach their 10th anniversary, they continue to be a testament to the transformative power of sports, the resilience of our veterans, and the enduring legacy of Prince Harry's initiative.